Okay, so for this guide, I'm going to show you how to set up the ABGX360 uh, ISO stealthing software. Uh, this will let you stealth ISO images and let you uh, burn them. Um, I'm not going to go into burning them, um, but this is mainly for people who want to burn the games. And if, say, for example, you have an X key or some other ODE for the um, for the Xbox 360, this will basically patch the games and make them legit to use online. Now the original ABGX files went down, um, but luckily someone was able to back up all of the files and this is going to be a solution to let you run the files locally on your machine rather than having to call back to a server. So I'm going to pop some links in the description, there's going to be your main executable which is going to be the software itself. And there's going to be three zip files. You're going to have a video of waves file, a stealth file files, and obviously your fixed INI, which will let you run the files offline. I'm going to start off by installing ABGX360. If you want to run through the setup, just click next, install, close. And if we open that back up, that should now work. Um, and I've already got it installed, so I just want to make sure that all my settings are all, all still the same. Yep, yep, yep. I'll run through these settings shortly. Um, so once we've done that, what you want to do is you want to open AVGX like this, and you want to come up to Help, and you want to click Where is my Stealth Files folder? Or you can do Control F on the keyboard. Click Yes uh, to take you to the folder. Now, as you can see, I've already got INEI files in here. Um, this is obviously where I've popped all the bits in myself uh, previously. Uh, what you want to do though is you want to come back a step. You want to head into the ABGX fixed INI folder and you want to copy this INI file and you want to drag it into here. Now I've already done it so I'm not going to do it again um, but all you need to do is do that and then if uh, you just move it in you shouldn't have one in there in theory uh, so just get that moved in. Um, and then once that's done, what you'll need to do is you'll need to go into the Stealth Files folder for me. And in here, you're going to, I believe when you see this, you should have nothing or you may have a couple files. What you want to do is you want to start off by coming into the Stealth Files folder. Um, and then you want to go into the Stealth Files folder again. And all of these files, you literally just want to do Control A, Move, and pop them into this folder here. Now, obviously, I've already got them, so once it's done this, or it'll start copying them again, or whatever whatever it wants to do. Um, but I already have all these files in here, so it's probably just going to say, oh, would you like to replace it, or skip it, or whatever. Um, but all you need to do is move all of these into this folder. Um, once we're done with this, I'll run you through what you need to do next. Um, I think this is going to take a moment. That shouldn't take too long. While we're waiting for that, if you want to head back a folder and um, head into the video waves folder, 1 to 20, you're going to have all of these folders and they're going to be labeled number 1, 20th wave. So what you'll need to do um, is head back into the Stealth Files folder uh, once you've copied all of these ones over. Get these files because we don't need them, we've already got them. Just let that do what it likes to do. And then what you'll need to do with these with these waves, uh, you can't just click and drag them in like this. You will have to go into each folder and copy, come out, next wave, copy, next folder, copy. Now once all that's done, uh, you'll need to do 1 to 20 all the way down. Once you've done all of that, close out of these, um, close out of ABGX, run ABGX again, um, and you should be ready to go. Now for settings on ABGX, all you will need to do is hop into options. You need to have uh, check create DVD file, check stealth, verify if stealth passes, check dash fix video padding use colors 
check for any DVD style game data corruption, check for updates, check game partition CRC when needed, and you want to put the verbosity level to high. Then for manually patch or extract files, you need to tick these two boxes and leave everything else unticked. For auto fix, you need to set this to level three, auto fix if stealth passes but fails verification. Then down here under SS challenge and response data, you need to tick trust SS v2 angles, you need to untick this, you need to tick fix CR tables if data is invalid, and you need to tick adjust angles that deviate more than three degrees from their CCRT targets. This option needs to be three. In rebuilding, you want to tick default method and leave this box at the bottom unticked. For miscellaneous, you can leave everything in here as is. I think the only thing you should need to do is your console's region code. Uh, you need to set this to your region. Uh, so you can click on select and then just select um, select what one you've got. If you're unsure of this, just Google your region and then type in region code. So if, you, if you're if you in uh, America, you can type in American uh, region code. But a lot of the time, that's just going to be NTSCU. If you're in Europe, it's going to be PAL. Um, obviously, there's a different PAL region for Australia and New Zealand. So just make sure you've got the right one ticked. You want to, once you've done that, you want to click OK. Um, obviously, your preferred language, put that to whatever you want. I'm doing English. Uh, split vid, put add if it doesn't exist or isn't invalid. And then images, do extract image when using HTML output. And then for the extra arguments, do uh, hyphen, uh, was that? Yeah, hyphen, hyphen, P, capital L, and then a zero. Once you've done that, if you want to come up to file, click, oh, sorry, that's... Click Save Settings, See, leave this as default, and then what you can do is the next time you open AVGX, it should automatically load those settings in for you. And that's it, you're basically ready to go at this point. So all you can do is you can do your input, so you can do your files, your directory. Let's do a file, I'll just show you what it does. You see this is my ISO directory, so I'm going to come in here and we're going to select, um, actually we're going on my hard drive that I've actually got set up for my Xbox. I'm going to come in here and we're going to select Silent Hill HD Collection. Uh, once you've done that, um, you can come down here and click Launch. This should go full screen. This is going to start doing all its checks. So this is the, the window that will come up. Um, in theory, everything in here now should be working. Um, obviously, you can see here that it's tried to connect to something, but obviously it's, it's no longer there. And it's it, it says here that we've already got a local file. It's no longer needed. So we've, we've already got that local file. Now, obviously, storing the copy of the files locally on your machine is going to be better in the long run, obviously, for um, just sake of uh, storing the data locally. It's it's going to be a lot of, lot easier. There's not, there's not a server to call back to anymore. Um, I believe it was the team executor who originally had it up and obviously what with them being in a bit of hot water at the minute um, It's obviously probably not viable or the servers just didn't get renewed or they didn't feel the need to have them anymore um, So having them locally is, is, is very good. It's a very good thing to have um, It's a couple gigs big I think in total with all the wave files. I think you're probably looking at about 1.5 gigs uh, maybe even make a cloud backup of them yourself um, for the downloads and whatnot, I'm going to leave the original source, which I believe is Hadaz, or whatever his name is. I believe it's Hadaz. Um, I'm going to leave his, yeah, had, had, hads.com. I'm going to leave the original. I'm going to stop this because I don't actually need to verify it. But once it does that, you can just close out the window. Um, is it Hads? Hads.com. Uh, so this is going to be the original where you can get all the stuff from. You're just going to need this, 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 and this. You can leave the server files unless you want to host the server yourself. Um, but you're just going to need these ones. And then if these go down for whatever reason, I will also make a backup set of download links for my personal mega account, which will have all of the files up to date in there, um, ready to go, just in case for whatever reason they go down. Um, but yeah, once you've done that, you should be pretty much ready to go um, and, and get on with stealthing some ISOs. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, just let me know, or if there's anything you would like to see in the future, then pop it in the comments.